Praise the Lord, and thank you for tuning in to another time of Kingdom Empowerment. I'm Pastor John Thomason. I'm just so honored of the Lord that you have tuned in on today. Hallelujah. Can I tell you that he's a healer? Today, we're going to be talking about God's healing touch and how to receive God's healing and that it is his will to heal. Yeah, that's right. It's his will to heal. You know, and they, and especially the, in these in these days that we're living, I, I truly believe that this is a time where God doesn't just want us to just preach the gospel. He wants us to demonstrate it. We demonstrate him, at, listen, as ambassadors of the kingdom, it's time for us to demonstrate the power of God. But if you've had the question, does God still heal today? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. Well, before we get into our, our discussion, our discussion on today, we like to open up with a word of prayer. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence being here with us on today. I ask that you will move by your spirit on today. Minister to your people. Give them clarity and understanding. Holy Spirit, bring illumination and revelation to those that are here and watching. Father, I'm asking even now that just as Jesus taught and preached the kingdom and signs, wonders, and miracles took place, I'm asking that you would do that as well on this broadcast on today, that you would heal and work miracles on today, touch bodies on today. And I thank you for it right now in Jesus' name. Listen, it, it is, it's God's desire to heal. You know, one thing that I come to understand about, about God is that it is his will to heal. And sometimes when it doesn't happen right away, we think God hasn't touched us. Now, there is a difference between a miracle and a healing. What is the difference? The difference is miracles are instantaneous and healings sometimes can be a process, right? So it doesn't mean, so So all because you didn't see it happen instantaneously doesn't mean that it didn't happen. Now, that's when the devil tries to come and tell you that, it's, yep, see, God didn't touch you, God didn't heal you, you didn't get your miracle. No, Jesus finished everything at the cross. He finished everything at the cross. So you receiving your healing, all that, all that entails is you receiving the finished work of the cross, agreeing, say, God, you, 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 you took care of this for me. You did this, and, and I am healed in Jesus' name. And you walk in your healing. You confess, you know, that every day until you see the results. But miracles are supernatural. Miracles are instantaneous. And when a miracle is taking place, in your life, it happens just like that. There's no question, there's no, no denial, you know, there's, there's no figuring out, wow, it's, it's, it's done. It's done. And can I tell you that God does miracles and healings, and he's still doing them today. Listen, the Bible tells us that, that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. So he was doing it back then. He's still doing it today. And can I tell you that whatever you are dealing with in your body or in, in, in your mind, whatever you're dealing with, come on, he's still present to heal. He's still present to deliver you. Come on, he's still present to give you your miracle. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Because he is willing to heal you. He's willing to touch you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God. You know, there's a uh, particular portion of scripture I want to share with you to kind of back this up. In Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8, verses one, um, 1 through 3, it says, and I'm reading now the NIV, okay? It says, when Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. And immediately 
he was cleansed of his leprosy immediately. So at that moment, he received, he received this miracle. But can I tell you, before all this happened, Jesus was, he had just finished teaching on the Beatitudes. And while this man was at the foot of the mountain, he was just worshiping God. He didn't try to go up there because he was considered unclean. And if he would have got amongst the people, they would have stoned him. So he stood there just worshiping. And when he opened his eyes, Jesus was present. Come on, what am I saying to you? When at the very moment you sense his presence, that's your opportunity to ask. Come on, I'm trying to tell you how to get receive your healing, how to receive your miracle. Listen, sometimes you can you can get it when you're at church, or you can get it at home, you can get it in the car. Listen, wherever his presence is, wherever his presence is at, come on, that's when you can that's when you can get it. Hallelujah. The man asked Jesus, when Jesus was present, when Jesus was, was in front of him, he, he said, Lord, if you are willing, you can, not can you, or if, if it's possible, you can make me clean. Come on, did you catch that? So in essence, when you're present, when you hear, I can be healed, I can receive my miracle. Well, wait a minute. Now, uh, um, if I can receive my miracle when his presence is there, that means that even in your, when you are at home, come on, and you're worshiping God. And you, listen, that's why if you're going through something in your body right now, just begin to worship God. Hmm. Let me help you. Just be, right now, just take this time, just begin to worship God. Begin to worship him. And when the very, when you sense his presence, then ask him, Lord, heal my body of this. Take this sickness out of my body because I know according to your word, what you done for the man that had leprosy, come on, you will do for me because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Touch my body. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Listen, he's not a liar. If, the, if he did it then, he will do it now and he will do it for you. Can I tell you that he's no respecter of person? It is his desire to heal those that want to be healed. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, there was a, uh, there was a, 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 a woman, she was, when the Bible speaks about her, the woman with the issue of blood, Jesus was on his way to Jairus' house. So while Jesus was on his way, she said to herself, she said, if, if, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. You see that? So at the very moment that she said, if I can reach out and touch the hem of his garment, not, not, not that he will have to turn around and lay hands on her, but if I can just touch him while he's moving, why? Because she had an issue with blood. Come on. She was considered unclean. She, so, so for her to, to just reach out and touch him and go through the crowd, she was taking a chance. But while he was moving, she reached out and touched him. And virtue went from, withdrew from his body, and she received her miracle. What am I saying? When the Spirit of the Lord is moving, when you sense him moving, He's, and when he's present, I'm saying, I'm telling you again, that's when you reach out. Reach out with what? Your faith. Come on. The, the man that I was telling you about that had leprosy, what did he do? When he was present, he reached out, come on, and received this miracle in faith. The woman to issue blood, she reached out and touched the hem of his garment. She didn't touch his hands when she touched his clothes. Come on, somebody. While he was moving. And power, come on, power, healing power, miraculous power, come on, virtue came out of his body into hers and healed her of her issue. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. She received her miracle while he was present and while he was moving. Come on, can you kind of see the pattern? Come on, in the beginning, what did I tell you about the man? He stood there, he worshiped. Come on, 
God, Jesus was moving, he was present, then he asked. Did you catch that? He asked. He got his miracle. Jesus was moving, which means that he was present. She got where he was. She got in his presence. Come on, somebody. While he was moving, and she reached in faith, touched his clothes. Come on. The ZZ, come on, the, the thread on his prayer shawl. Come on, somebody. That point of contact, she received a miracle just like that. It wasn't the process. She received it just like that. Hallelujah. Listen, it was, it, was, it was such an encounter that Jesus stopped and asked, who touched me? Who just touched me? The disciples said, what do you mean? Who, who do you, why are you even saying that? You got all these people pushing and, and tugging while you trying to get to Jairus. Like, what do you mean? No, someone touched me because I felt power or virtue leave my body. Come on. When you get in God's presence and when he's moving and you do, you put a demand, come on, somebody, you put a demand on, 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 the, on his healing, that, that power, come on, that virtue, come on, something is going to happen. Why? Because in his presence and while he's moving, that's your opportunity to reach out with your faith and your opportunity to ask. Hallelujah. But can you see the correlation between his presence and him moving? Hallelujah. So that you can end, so that you can receive your miracle from God. Because remember, he's willing. He is willing. So even so, even right now, while you're in your home, you say, wait a minute, I, I, I need a miracle from God. I need a healing from God. Just begin to worship him. Why? Because worship causes his, his presence to come. When you begin to declare his name, it causes his presence to come. When you honor him, it causes his presence to come. And when you, and, and at the very moment, you sense his presence, presence and you know that his presence is there that's your opportunity to reach that's your opportunity come on to 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 ask and when you ask you shall receive hallelujah glory to his name hallelujah can i give you another example there was a man named bartimaeus the son of timaeus that was on the roadside begging he was begging, and guess what? The Bible says that he heard Jesus was passing by. He was moving. Can you kind of, are, are you getting this? I really want to nail this sin because this is how you will receive your miracle. This is how you will receive your healing from God when he is present and when he is moving. Okay? But Bartimaeus, he didn't do uh, exactly what the man with leprosy did in the beginning. He didn't do what the woman with the issue of blood um, did. He did this. He cried out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And he kept crying out until he, Jesus, come on, responded to his call. Can I tell you all through the Bible, the Bible teaches us that when we cry out to the Lord, when we cry out to the Lord, when we cry out to God, he hears us and he responds to us. Hallelujah. When you read it all through the book of Psalm, David talks about it because he, come on, he did a lot of crying out to the Lord. Hallelujah. But when you cry out to God, he will heal, he will hear you and respond to your call. You need a healing? Call out to him. Jesus. Heal my body. Lord, I need a miracle in my body. Hallelujah. You said that you are not a respect your person. Hallelujah. Heal my body. Glory to my, oh my God. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Listen, I believe that right now God is touching you right now. Because I believe that you're getting a revelation. You're getting a revelation. Listen, it, it, 
You can re- listen, you can receive your miracle in your car. You can receive your miracle anywhere. Listen, the Bible says that wherever, where, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Did you catch that? Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Come on, that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse uh, uh, 17. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So if there's liberty, that means that any bondage, come on, your sickness could be a bondage. That infirmity could be a bondage. Come on, that pain could be a bondage. And wherever he is, there's liberty. That's why, come on, catch this. When you worship, catch this revelation. When you begin to worship God and really press into God's presence, the pain that you was dealing with before begins to what? Decrease. And it keeps decreasing. It keeps leaving. Why? Because wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And see, that's how you know that he's there. Because the pain that you were dealing with, you don't sense it anymore. Why? Because where he is, there's liberty. There's no bondage where he is. When his presence comes, there's no bondage. Come on, even when the Bible speaks about the man that had legion, when he encountered Jesus, those demons left. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, hallelujah, there's liberty. What am I saying? What am I saying? When he's present, that's your opportunity to ask. That's your opportunity to reach out to them, to him. And that's your opportunity to cry out to him. And he will respond. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. When you cry out to the... Now, there's other times, even in Scripture, where when his presence comes, on, he will, when his presence comes to you, that he will give you an instruction. You know, the Bible speaks about the man that, had, that his hand was withered. And when Jesus saw him, he stretched, he told, he said, stretch out your hand. Now, he had one hand that was withered, and he had another hand that was not. But the man stretched out the hand that was withered and received his miracle. Why? Because he had the ability to obey an instruction. Oh, my God. Are you catching this? Are you catching this? So when God's presence comes, and you there, and there is an instruction given to you. Your miracle is tied to your to your ability to obey an instruction. Hmm. My God, you will receive your miracle. Listen, your your miracle is tied to your obedience. Let me give you another example. Um, uh, um, First Kings chapter. Chapter 5, it speaks about Naaman. Naaman had leprosy. He wanted the prophet Elisha. I believe it's in 2 second, second Kings chapter 5. He wanted the prophet Elijah to lay hands on him. He wanted to heal him of his leprosy. The prophet didn't come out. He sent his servant to go tell uh, Naaman to go dip in the Jordan seven times. Now, Naaman is upset, but the, his, his, his servant girl told him, he said, now, if he would have told you to go do some elaborate task, you would have done it. But he told you to go dip in the Jordan seven times. And when you, and, and, so that was the instruction that was given. So Naaman, he did, he humbled himself. He dipped in that nasty Jordan seven times. And on the seventh time, that leprosy was completely gone. And his skin was, was, was smooth like a newborn baby. He would have missed his miracle if he would not have obeyed the instruction that was given. You see that? Sometimes God will send an instruction. Sometimes the instruction may be uh, change your diet. 
Oh, wait a minute, God, I want you to come in and do all this stuff. The Spirit of God may speak to you, come on, and say, change your diet. Well, I, I'm dealing with this diabetes. I need, I need to be healed from this diabetes. The Spirit of God may be speaking to you and telling you to change your diet. And when you change your diet, it will deal with you. It will heal you from that diabetes. Oh, come on. That's a word from somebody. Hallelujah. Bless the name of God forever. So it is his will to heal. He'll heal you. Come on. When his, when his presence comes and he's moving, right? He'll heal. When you when you be, when you ask what his when his presence is known to you, when you reach out, when his presence is known to you. Now, when his presence is known to you is, is when he's he's moving. It's like in the beginning when I was talking about the man that had leprosy. He said, "Lord, if you are you willing to touch him?" Jesus had just got done. Come on, teaching the beatitudes. So he was in motion. He was moving. And when he sensed his presence while he was moving, he asked. The same thing with the woman with the issue of blood. When she sensed his presence, when she, come on, while he was moving, she pressed her way into his presence. Reached out and touched him, got her miracle. Bartimaeus heard Jesus. He was blind. He heard Jesus was passing by. Since his presence, and while he heard him passing, he, while he was moving, he cried out unto the Lord. The Lord called him, laid hands on him, told him to wash, and he received his sight. He got his miracle. The, the man with the withered hand, Jesus came. He was present. He was moving. Come on. Told him, stretch out your hand. The man obeyed the instruction. And his hand was healed. Can you see the pattern? So it isn't that God doesn't want to heal. He wants to heal. It's his will to heal. He desires to heal. And he heals in a lot of different ways. But one, one of the number one ways I believe God heals is when his presence is known. When his presence is there. That's why you, you don't have to be in a church or 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 in a, uh, a, a revival or anything to get healed. You can get healed at home. Why? Because his presence is not restricted to a, a, a building. His presence is not restricted to a revival or a conference. When you just take the time to worship him wherever you are, and his presence comes, come on. At that moment, that's your opportunity to receive your miracle. That's your opportunity to receive your healing. Hallelujah. Listen, you can just take the time and just worship God right now. And as you begin to worship him, come on. His presence is filling your space. His presence is filling the room. Hallelujah. And when you come on and when you sense the, the weightiness of his presence. That's the beginning. Come on. You, you begin to cry out to him. You begin to, uh, you begin to uh, reach out with your faith. Come on. You, you already know. Listen, you already know that he's willing to heal. Listen, the woman with the issue of blood, she had a mindset. She said, I know. <laughs> I know when I get to him and I reach out and touch him, I will be made whole. Come on, you already know that when you get into his presence, you reach out, come on, you will be healed. Hallelujah. You know that when you cry out to him like Bartimaeus, come on, you'll be healed. You'll know that when he gives you an instruction and you obey that instruction, you'll be made whole. Hallelujah. It's that easy. Believe, come on. Ask when he's present, while he's moving. Cry out to him. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. I'm telling you, 
God is doing something right now. God is touching bodies right now because I believe those of you that are watching are getting this revelation. Come on. That's why, listen, that's why God, listen, Jacob said this. He said, I have been face to face with God and my life has been, been preserved. When he wrestled with God, why? Because God's presence preserves your life. When he created us, come on, he was, he breathed his, out of his nostrils. He formed us. He breathed out his, his, his essence, come on, into us, which means that he was face to face with us, which speaks of his presence. Come on. That's why when his presence is known, you ask, you cry out, you reach out in faith, and you obey the instruction that was given. Come on, and you will be made whole. Hallelujah. Come on, stretch your hands towards me right now. Father, I thank you, Father God, that those that are watching, that, that they're worshiping you right now. I thank you, God, that your presence is, is moving in their, in their, in, in, in their house, uh, wherever they're watching, in the car. I, I thank you that your presence is filling the room and you are moving. And right now, right now in the name of Jesus, just begin to ask him, just begin to cry out to him, just begin to reach out to him in, in, in faith. And listen, it doesn't matter what condition you're dealing with in your body. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Because there's nothing that he cannot do. Come on. All things are possible to them that believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. So listen, I don't have to call out your condition in order for it to happen. Whatever your condition is right now in this moment, begin to worship God. Sense his presence, because his presence is there. Receive your miracle now in the name of Jesus. Now by faith, come on, just begin to do what you couldn't do. By faith. Check yourself. By faith. Come over. If there's something with that you have to check your vitals, check your vitals. You're gonna notice that they're normal. Check your wherever you had that pain. You're gonna notice that it's gone. Well, come on, where you couldn't, whatever you couldn't do, where there was restriction, you're gonna notice. Come on, that the restriction has been removed because the master has come and touched you on today. And I thank you for touching them right now. And healing her body. Lord, I thank you for miracles taking place. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you were blessed today by this teaching that God is willing to reach out and heal you. He's willing to heal you on today. Hallelujah. Well, again, I pray that you were blessed. We would love for you to join us here live. Amen here at Kingdom Empowerment Ministries here in Port Huron. Our address is 2700 Pine Grove Avenue. Uh, you can come in on the Garfield Street side. Our Sunday services are at 12 noon on Sundays. Um, also, you can watch us on Facebook Live and also on YouTube. That's right, Facebook Live and also on YouTube. On our Facebook, you can Find our Facebook, go to at Kingdom Empower, at Kingdom Empower, that's our Facebook page, and you can watch our, our broadcast on Wednesdays, our Bible studies, on Wednesdays at 12.30 p.m. And then, and then you can also uh, find us on our YouTube, which is the official Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, the official Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, where you'll find a lot of our teachings and our broadcasts on YouTube as well. So go ahead on our YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube and hit the notification button as well. And if you would love to find out more about Kingdom Empowerment Ministries, you can also go to our website, www.kingdomempower.org. Amen. I pray that you was blessed and walk in your healing and your miracle that you have just received. Don't stop until you get it. Amen. I love you, and I'll see you next time for your Kingdom Empowerment. Blessings.